Hey guys, I'm back uh, with another Amstrad long plane review. It's time for the Simpsons. Yes, uh, Simpsons Bart versus the Space Mutants. Um, I think it's based loosely on a an episode of the Simpsons that I uh, don't remember seeing. And uh, anyway, I'll let you have a quick listen to the uh, theme music. Yeah, not bad at all. It's a fair rep uh, rendition of the theme, but it's the only uh, music at all in the game, so uh, make the most of it. Now, as I said. I never saw the uh, episode of The Simpsons this was sort of based on, but aliens have invaded Springfield, and uh, you've got to get rid of all the purple objects on this level. Oh, and you've also got a pair of X-ray specs um, to determine which uh, inhabitants have got aliens inside them. Like that, that was me using the X-ray specs. And uh, on each level, I think there's five levels. Um, there's certain tasks you have to do. On this level, you've got to basically get rid of all purple objects, and the reason for that is the space aliens are constructing the ultimate weapon, and uh, and this time round, um, apparently they need to collect as uh, as many purple objects as they can uh, to form their weapon. And bots out there to defeat them. And there's a phone box there. Um, which uh, on the original NES version you can put a coin into and you can call up Moan and uh, make some prank calls but the Amstrad version is missing on lots of stuff and uh, you know you'll see this uh, and I'll explain this over time but yeah this is sort of uh, I think the NES version came out first the NES and it was a pretty decent game actually and this, just, this is a sort of fair conversion of that really Go and shop and buy objects. I've just bought a wrench there from that uh, from that shop there, and I've used it on the uh, uh, water hydrant there, and that sprayed uh, red paint all over the uh, purple awning. I uh, was buying lots of rockets from that shop there. That dude wasn't inhabited by an alien there, which my X-ray specs revealed. So uh, don't jump on his head, or you'll uh, lose a life. That square I collected there is a crusty icon, gives you an extra life. Now I've just bought a whistle from that shop there. Um, you can later use that to basically call on uh, Grandpa Simpson and he gives you loads of coins. So there's, there's a few sort of uh, things uh, are present still from the NES version. But other things are not, like the uh, Dropping a coin in the phone box there to prank call Mo at his tavern. And also the skateboarding sections are completely missing. As they are in the specy version as well, I believe. Um, but it's the, um, I think the Commodore 64 version has all that in. So with well, specy and Amstrad uh, users have been a bit shortchanged again. And also we've got annoying sort of uh, uh, screen scrolling. And what you need to do here is use a cherry bomb or a rocket and that gets rid of the uh, pink bird in the shop window there in its cage. Another sort of pointless or sort of half missing feature is uh, collecting those coins from uh, when you jump on the alien's heads. Um, collect enough coins um, and uh, each coin represents a letter for, the, uh, for one of your family members as you'll see in the bottom left corner of the screen again shortly there we go uh, Ma it's Maggie this level so we've got two more coins to collect to complete a name and apparently um, she's supposed to uh, or your family member is supposed to come and help you at the end of the level against an end level guardian 
on this level Maggie doesn't appear at all and uh, but on some levels they do appear but are pretty much completely useless that whole section of the park there this is where uh, Bart uses his skateboard but is missing from this version so we've got a purple sign there use a rocket now we've got a red sign not sure how rockets uh, uh, manage to change colours of things but there we go Now Bart can run, if you hold the uh, up arrow and then move left or right he will run. Oops, just clipped an alien there. Um, that is basically sort of a platforming, uh, it, mo mostly platforming, um, with a few collecting, a collection of items. Uh, in terms of problem solving, pretty much um, only the first level has real sort of in-depth puzzles, if you want to call them that. Which is working out like uh, you saw me uh, use the uh, wrench on the uh, on the fire hydrant, the water hydrant there, and here use the rockets there. You just need to, it's pretty simple stuff to work out. Now you can use the key on that door there, and that will warp you back to a, a earlier part of the level, and uh, vice versa. But we don't need to. We've pre we've got pretty much all the items now. You don't have to get rid of all the purple objects, but we've gotten rid of enough of them. Cool. And if you use the uh, whistle here, Grandpa Simpson appears and gives you loads of coins. Well, I believe it's uh, Grandpa Simpson. It doesn't look much like him. Um, but kind of looks kind of looks like Bart but it's you know pretty crudely done to be fair now Maggie hasn't appeared which is a shame um, I think on the uh, NES and Commodore 64 version she appears in the top right corner of the screen and basically throws rocks at uh, Nelson's head there that is Nelson the bully by the way as well even though you sort of can't really tell graphics are pretty crudely done to be honest it's nice and colourful but um, in terms of 1991 and Amstra games it could do a lot better so we're on to the second level and this time the aliens are collecting hats and we got to knock uh, hats off the top of heads of people or just generally collect them around the level not much puzzle solving goes on this one, although the, the level is a lot longer. There's quite a few sections and a few end of level guardians and bosses scattered throughout. Now you can just wait there and, uh, and basically wait for people to walk out the mall and uh, just collect loads of hats. You can actually pretty much get all the, all the items you need for your goal. However, time is pretty short on this level because it's quite long, so uh, you you want to make some progress. So just I just took a few hats there. That's a swimming pool, apparently. Looks pretty black to me. Now, from this level onwards, you start seeing lots of moving objects and platforms to jump on. You've got to wait till the uh, these items here are in the right position to jump on top of, otherwise you'll just fall right through them. And you've got to get exactly in the centre of the item. This this bit's a real swine to do actually. Bins can make you jump higher, of course. Not quite sure what those things are. Oops. Not sure who that is. Perhaps it's Nelson the bully back again, I don't know.
Alright, still on the second level, next part of it. Oh yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's me pulling down on the joystick which op uh, activates your x-ray specs. Just to check whether that guy was an alien or not. That guy isn't. It's a fairly nice effect actually they've uh, put in. We're just going to wait for a few people to collect a few more hats to make sure we get enough before we reach the end. Nothing worse than backtracking and running out of time. Now I notice there is some sort of flickery sp sprites and some sprites sort of appear and disappear at times. I'm not sure if it's going to be any worse um, when I when I basically uh, fi uh, finish off this video, um, the preview and watching whilst uh, recording this uh, commentary. Um, some things are not appearing at all, but watching the AVI file directly, it looks okay. Uh, I'm not sure if this is coming out either. When the boots uh, fall on, fall down, the, the screen violently shakes up and down. On my little sort of AVI preview, it's not happening. So, uh, of course, uh, try the game for yourself. But there are definitely, <coughs> when playing the game on a real uh, Amstrad and in the emulator, there are some sprite flickering problems and sprites that appear and disappear and stuff. Um, so there's one or two bugs in the game. And there's places where uh, the graphics get completely corrupted as well. Um, which meant uh, I've had to basically just uh, uh, play each level at a time from snapshots. That's a pretty easy uh, boss there. Giant shoe. <laughs> Well, we've got all our hats we need now, might as well just collect a few for points. Now you may notice uh, that this uh, um, video is about 50 minutes long. Yeah, uh, YouTube have upgraded my account for some reason, so hopefully this all uh, uploads in one go. Originally I did uh, chop this into 15 minute parts, so you might see some edit cuts here and there. And, and the screen fading in and out. I really couldn't be asked to re-edit uh, all the uh, movie footage. But hopefully from now on, if uh, it'll let me do full videos. Not sure uh, what the actual limit is now. But I've just done a test upload of 50 minutes. It seems to have worked. Right, okay, I think we're coming up to the boss of this level. Um, being very careful because when you move move onto the screen, he's on. Um, you get he's, he's already throwing a projectile at you, and you easily lose a life. No, next one maybe. Not sure what that thing is there. Oh no, no, it's not the time for the boss yet. We've got another uh, swimming pool to navigate over. I think they're magic ones. Considering we had like top hats and bunnies appearing out of them earlier. Oh no, I think the final boss is coming up here. No, I think one of the bosses is. I think it's this screen. There he is. Let to be quick and jump. That's not the final boss, no, we've got another a bit to come up. And here's the final boss. Marge appears, but isn't actually doing anything at all that I can work out. And all you got to do is um, basically throw back up the uh, packages that um, this person's chucking down at you. I have no idea who this end of level boss is, um, apparently it's some minor character that appeared in one episode once, uh, I think it was a babysitter or uh, something that was stealing from the family, from what I read on the internet, uh, I can't remember. 
Anyway, we're well, hey, we're past the 15 minute mark on a YouTube video. And um, this level, basically, it's balloons you're after. And Bart gets his slingshot as well to uh, fire away at. Items and uh, baddies. Now the reason we're sort of waiting around here, I think I've put a comment actually actually in the video, is we're waiting for those clowns to appear so we can get all the uh, uh, letters for Lisa to come and help us. Even though she doesn't, I just want to do it for completion's sake. And you have to wait flipping ages for a clown to appear, and a clown that's been also a clown that's been overtaken by an alien. Because there's only about two other places that um, they appear in this level. Yeah, I made an edit there. I wasn't going to commentate this far, so I put a comment there. So we've cut about two minutes fifty out of uh, me just waiting around. Now you can try some of the uh, fairground uh, games there. Got to hit three in a row of your coins. And um, we won five coins there. Hit three red balloons. Oops. I'll go to that up. Hit a blue one. And we've done it. And we win five coins for our troubles. And there's two balloons. Just avoid him. Get your slingshot there. And you can fire at things uh, floating above you. Like that. Oops, missed. Um, there's possibly something you can uh, do there with the... Uh, the fairground game there but I've not worked out what you need to do so we'll, we'll just move on supposedly you can shoot that little target and she falls into the water um, but it doesn't seem to happen on this version I think we're just gonna wait around here for a couple of balloons well, a few more Sometimes they appear quite regularly, but uh, obviously not. That's probably enough. Let's move on. Ooh. And whatever you do, do not jump uh, above where I've just jumped, otherwise the graphics completely corrupt. And we've got to basically uh, change all the doors here to uh, I think the blue ones, wasn't it? And here's how you do it. Go for the top corners and then go for the one in the middle. That's it. We can progress further now. It took me ages to work that out. <laughs> Fell through the floor there, but it's not killed me. Yeah, like I said, there's a few bugs in this game. In this section, I found often uh, the graphics corrupt a lot. Luckily, not that time. That section's a real swine to do. You've got to time it just right when you, there's like an air vent that pushes you up. And also, these are these annoying things that jump out the ground at you. Can often lose a lot of lives in that section. all our balloons collected. God knows why the aliens need balloons, purple objects and hats for their uh, ultimate weapon. A more uh, stupid than normal Simpsons plot, but there you go. And here's the final boss for this level, it's Sideshow Bob. And you've basically got to jump on his foot, his giant clown feet. And when you do, that's him basically clutching his leg, although it's kind of like a bit hard to make out because the sprites are a bit crap in this game. Lisa's supposed to appear to help you, but doesn't. Lazy programmers. 
God damn them. This game does sort of feel a bit unfinished actually. Which is unusual for ocean software, um, this late in the day. It'd been 1991, usually they, uh, you know, um, go pretty decent finished products for the Amstrad. One of the few major publishers that really made an effort the Amstrad versions of their games. Right, on this level we're after uh, exit signs. Um, for some reason the aliens need exit signs for their machine. We've got a dart gun and we can shoot them. I think this is the Natural History Museum or something of Springfield. Gotta avoid those lasers. Oops. You are able to jump high if you jump off the heads of uh, aliens that might lead to a couple of places you can't reach that are too high. This bit's annoying. I was quite lucky I got through that actually without losing a bit of energy. You get two energy uh, bars per life. And uh, we're on about nine lives left at the moment so we're doing quite well. Again this bit's a bit of a swine. You've got to wait for the crocodile there. You've got to basically land on the croc exactly in the middle. Oh, sugar just lost life there. Well, I've just buggered it up again. I suppose there's a fair amount to this game, really. It's not bad value for money. You get a fairly okay platforming game with sort of plenty of variation levels and things to do, I suppose. You've got shooting bits, lots of hidden secrets here and there, end of level bosses, a few puzzles to solve. It's not the greatest game in the world, but uh, yeah, it's all right. But the NES, uh, NES version, the originals, you know, miles better. There's a few long plays on YouTube you can go and watch of that. So uh, go and check that out. Not sure that is in the case there, but it gives you a temporary, uh, temporary um, dose of invul vulnerability. God, I can't pronounce. That. I can never pronounce that right. You can't get killed. <laughs> right, pick it up. You're invulnerable. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, you can bounce off his head to get to that gun there. But you can't get to it uh, normally. Not sure you get to that exit sign, but there's a uh, I think there's a couple more left in the game, so we'll ignore that for now. Pretty obvious what you got to do here. Wait for the platforms to appear. You've got to be very careful on this bit, you've got to land just centred and left of the item, otherwise you'll just fall through. That's the problem with the uh, split screen scroll in there, because as soon as you move off the edge of the screen there you're presented with uh, one of those spikes. I 
really wish uh, they could have bothered with uh, proper scrolling. Here's one of the bosses, Mummy there. Quite easy to defeat. One jump on his head and he's goner. Got one more exit sign to uh, get rid of. There we go. Fitting the instructions, that thing I just picked up is supposed to be like an alien head or something. Anyway, we've got another life there. And we've got one more token to get um, Homer helping us out. Homer does actually appear and sort of help out. He doesn't appear to do much though. Okay, we made it through. Now, um, I think is it at this point? No, I think I think it's a point just shortly on. Something goes horribly wrong with the. Uh, video recording so I had to uh, I think I had to replay this level and uh, re-record it thankfully I've taken uh, snapshots before the start of each level I'm not sure why the uh, game corrupted and went wrong it sometimes does which is a big negative I've already mentioned a few problems earlier with sprites uh, and stuff I'm not sure how, like I said before, I'm not sure how the sprites will look on the final video once it's been uh, compressed or whatever and uh, encoded and uploaded. Because uh, in my preview window, there's a lot of sprite flickering, sprites appearing and disappearing. Yeah, it's this bit. Oh, this is it. Yeah, for some reason the controls go berserk and it keeps running off to the right. Yeah, I made a uh, comment there because I wasn't going to bother. Uh, commenting this far. As soon as we can do it all in one vid now. Here I am. Yeah that was a dinosaur there, just jump on his uh, nose and he's a goner. Not sure why I'm bothering to go for that exit sign. We've already got enough extra points, I suppose. Cool. That's the uh, last uh, alien hidden inside a body, and here we are. I'm not sure who we're fighting here. Homer seems to be dropping something. He's above me there in that weird picture frame or window. Seems to be dropping like what? What's that? red pillows or something anyway this is the final level this is pretty interesting because there's lots of uh, doors and stairs and lifts to go up and down in Lisa is appearing here combination for this level is 14 she tells us basically the door codes in each level so you need to find her and um, there's five floors and basically this time we're collecting uh, nuclear rods and there's 16 of them <clears throat> and when you get four of them you need to you can't collect anymore you need to get the lift to the basement and drop them off um, and I've made some oh hang on there's the door there you go now um, I've made some uh, massive edits on this level uh, basically uh, just on waiting times uh, when you like go through doors and uh, especially on the lift, there's a horrendous lag and delay waiting for the uh, game to start up on that level. It was something like sometimes I uh, went in the lift to the basement and it took about over a minute before it took me back in. So I've edited that out. You just saw a, a little edit there as well because that was the end of uh, another 15 minute chunk. But we're doing a full video now. 
no idea how to get to that extra life there. Oops. We've got plenty of lives to do this level. Uh, we picked up some donuts before actually, a box of donuts. There's another box of donuts there. When you use the donuts, basically Homer will, will appear and basically clear the screen of all uh, aliens and baddies, which is pretty useful. So the Simpsons family do come and help out, like the game in instructions and box tells us they do. There's a door there, obviously we don't know the code for this level yet. Obviously I already do because I've played this before, but uh, we're playing this uh, properly as you're supposed to. Like I said, it takes ages to, uh, to move between levels. Using doors isn't so bad, but lifts, oh, it takes ages. kind of running out of things to say and comment on really I've done well to last 30 minutes still got another 20 minutes left for this video so I'll just continue watching and if there's anything worth mentioning I will do oh yeah we've got four rods so uh, we need to get back to the uh, lift and get to the basement and uh, drop the rods off into the reactor. At least this level with what you're collecting it makes a little bit more sense that uh, nuclear rods would be used in a, an alien's weapon rather than hats and purple objects. Ah damn it, just lost a life. When you lose a life in this level, I think you are taken back to the last door you entered or came out of. Although, sometimes it takes you to a whole other area and section, which is a bit strange. So a map might be useful for this uh, this final level. Where we just called the lift. It's slowly coming down to us. Okay, we selected the basement level. Made a big edit there. I took about a minute um, of footage there, just waiting around for the lift. Once a minute. And occasionally there's a bug here that um, you get stuck in the basement level and you can't get in the lift. And basically you have to restart, which is great. <laughs> we'll wait for time to run out. There's Lisa. Combination of this level is 32. Now there's two lifts, and they take you to sort of uh, different areas as well of the uh, five floors. So you can get a little bit lost, so a map might be handy. Though I've not uh, found one on the internet, I just sort of played it through and worked it out. Ah, there's baby Maggie there. Remember where she is because she has the final rod. So when you get to 15 rods and you're looking for the final one, Maggie's holding it, but you can't get it off her before you've got all of them. Right, we just called on Homer there. There's Homer. He's cleared off all the aliens uh, by using uh, the donuts there. It's about the first time in this game that a family member has been useful. timing on this bit's a little bit awkward. 
Some precision timing is needed on this game, to be, and it's quite well done for a platforming, to be fair to it. The controls are nice and tight and responsive. And the game moves pretty sm uh, uh, smoothly. Yeah, I couldn't be asked uh, doing that screen again, so we've used Homer. And yeah, the aliens do, uh, if they are killed, they do, um, you know, stay dead. It's not like you go back to the screen and find this, uh, they've just uh, magically respawned, which is pretty good. Some more donuts there. There's Lisa, I just saw around there. Well, we can't get to that area until we use the other lift. <coughs> firing up to open doors so you got to be careful if you want to move down a level and it's quite easy to be already holding up and end up going up a level by accident that's a bit annoying control system is a little clunky um, like I said pull down and that will uh, activate your x-ray specs but you have to uh, hold down, f down and fire button to go f and to scroll through your inventory which it does automatically for you you can find yourself selecting the wrong item quite a few times or activating your x-ray specs by accident. It's a little annoying. <coughs> Worst thing you can happen on this level though is you, re you run out of time. Um, but don't worry, that's not uh, completely game over, you just lose a life. And then you start again with uh, half amount the half amount of the year time you had. they didn't have music in game though. It all feels rather sort of sparse and barren really. The sound effects that are there are, you know, passable. So just found Lisa there. Getting had already done that bit. We're already running out of time quite quickly, though. It's only about 170 seconds left. But if you've got enough lives, you don't want to rush this level. Use Homer there and his donuts. Couldn't be asked about aliens uh, scrolling left and right at the bottom there. Lisa telling me the combination is 41. Put the doors on level 4. got four rods so we've got no choice but to go back to the basement and only six more left <coughs> again I uh, no idea how to get to that crusty icon on that previous screen to get an extra life So anyway, that's the, I think that's the last Lisa and combination we need. Might as 
as well use the donuts there. Alright, well we're rapidly running out of time. We've got to go uh, all the way back to the first level and go to the left where we started off at the start. But with about 70 seconds left, I don't think we're going to do it. I think I get a bit confused and lost here. I'll get back to where I need to go. Uh, back to the, the start where I actually started this level. Because we're stuck at that door there, you see, uh, with that wall in the way. But we're going to run out of time and lose a life, but who cares? I've got like nine lives. About ten minutes left of this video anyway, so I suppose let's let's uh, let's do a bit of a um, summary of the game. Um, it's a de you know it's decent enough and va it's got good value for money with you know um, good platforming sections and uh, mixed in with puzzle and action and shooting and uh, a few hidden surprises here and there. Um, it just feels a little bit sort of uh, unfinished possibly rushed. It was definitely a game that was released uh, in time for Christmas. Uh, I actually remember getting this on uh, Christmas Day as one of my presents when I was a young lad. Um, so maybe they rushed it a little bit for the uh, Christmas deadline. Oh yeah, I just ran out of time there, lost a life and it's warped me to um, the area exactly I need to be, which is like towards where the start of the uh, this uh, recording of this level to the left, which is where the final rods are, which is pretty good. But anyway, yes, yeah, summary um, gra graphics are n okay, it's not very well defined and a bit blocky, um, but they're nice and colourful. No music, sound effects are pretty limited and primitive to be honest. I mean, uh, this type of platform game though has been around for donkey's years, even before that, even before 1991. You know, with Manic Miner and all that good Jet Set Willy, all that kind of stuff. So for 1991, it's getting a bit old hat this type of game, but it's done reasonably well. Like I said, there's a fair amount to it. Puzzles and his secret areas. And for a platforming game, the controls are said are nice and tight and fluid. Although the uh, selecting your items is a little clumsy. I think we forgot about a rod there, and that we'll have to go all the way back for. So overall, I think I'll give this a fair uh, 7 out of 10. I think that's I think that's pretty fair. But if you really want to play Simpsons uh, Bart vs. the Space Mutants, then I suggest you uh, probably track down the uh, NES original. Maggie, he's holding the final rod. I think there's a jump edit coming up here. Yeah, we made a bit of an edit there. That was the end of another 15 minute chunk of this playthrough. going to be a four part video so thank thank you YouTube for upgrading my account
got where I'm going. Like I said, a map will be useful. Oops. Alright, we're nearly done. There's Maggie. We can't get the final rod from her just yet. I think we forgot to pick up one of the rods in this section on level four. There it is. Oh yeah, except perhaps because I didn't have a combination at that point for that door. Got no donuts left, but what the heck. Right, that's it. We've just got to get back down the stairs onto level 2 where Maggie is. Time's running out again. Uh, as I said before, you only get half the amount of time if you lose a life on a level from time running out. But uh, again, be prepared guys um, for a rather crap ending. I was half expecting it because this game is obviously a bit rushed and unfinished. So if you've watched this far, then uh, sorry to disappoint you. But I've been meaning to finish this game for years. Oh, you got to drop the other three rods off first. Oops, and then you then you can go and get Maggie in the final rod. Yeah, forgetting the combinations there. If I remember, I'll write down the combinations for all the doors in this uh, level for you in the uh, YouTube description. wonder if we'll do this level in time before we run out of time because I don't want to get warped uh, to another area of the uh, and get stuck there for ages oh I think we'll just do it Fifteen seconds left. Seven, five, four, three. Well, we got the last rod. Oops. Still got to take it to the basement, and thankfully we're spawned right outside the lift. So uh, there we go. Job done game complete and that's it congratulations Bart you have saved Springfield and the world from being taken over by space mutants there you go that's all you get no music or a game over message you don't even get told your final score so what's the point in keeping score in this game great and then back to the title screen with the music hmm. oh well yeah thanks for watching guys I may get another video or two before Christmas then I'll take perhaps have a bit of a break we'll see and if you've lasted this long well done 
Cheers for watching and see you next time. Thanks, bye.